Imagine sprinkling bright red chili powder into your dinner, only to find out it contains a dye so toxic it's banned worldwide and linked to cancer. This isn't a distant what-if scenario. It's a real scandal that spread across the globe and forced supermarkets to pull thousands of products off their shelves. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to Manufact, where we uncover the real stories of factory scandals, hidden dangers, and billion-dollar mistakes that impact your everyday life. The discovery. It all began in the early 2000s, when inspectors in the UK tested random shipments of chili powder. What they discovered shocked the food world. Hidden inside these samples was Sudan Red, a cheap industrial dye normally used in paints, plastics, and shoe polish. It had never been approved for food use, yet here it was, secretly added to chili powder to make it appear fresher and more vibrant. The findings set off alarm bells. One contaminated batch was bad enough, but when investigators dug deeper, they realized this wasn't an isolated incident. It was the start of a food scandal that would stretch across continents, the domino effect. What started as a small discovery soon turned into a chain reaction of recalls. First, supermarkets in the UK began pulling affected chili powders and sauces from their shelves. But the contamination didn't stop there. Regulators traced the dye across a web of global supply chains, and suddenly, hundreds of products were implicated. Ready meals, curry sauces, noodles, even branded pizzas and frozen foods had to be recalled. Children's snacks were not spared either. Within weeks, the scandal reached every corner of Europe, then Asia, and eventually parts of Africa. Fear spread faster than the contamination itself, and public trust in everyday food products collapsed almost overnight. And if you're finding this story shocking so far, make sure to hit the like button and drop a comment below. It really helps this channel bring more hidden stories like this to light. The hidden danger. So, what exactly made Sudan Red so dangerous? The dye was classified as a possible human carcinogen. Studies in lab animals linked it to cancer, particularly in the liver and kidneys. Unlike some contaminants that break down when heated, Sudan Red is stable at high cooking temperatures. That means frying, boiling, or baking food. Containing it did nothing to neutralize the risk. To make matters worse, the average consumer could never detect it. Sudan Red doesn't change the taste or smell of food, only the bright red appearance. This meant families could have been eating contaminated meals for years without ever knowing. Here's the part that made the scandal truly alarming. Sudan Red wasn't only found in chili powder. As investigations widened, traces appeared in everyday products that most households relied on. Ketchup, barbecue sauces, marinades, and even some baby foods in certain markets were discovered to contain the dye. It was no longer just an issue for exotic spices or imported powders. It was something that could have been sitting in your kitchen cupboard, disguised as a trusted household brand. The contamination was closer to home than anyone imagined. The fallout. The financial and reputational fallout was immediate. Factories had to destroy entire production runs. Supermarkets suffered huge losses and faced angry customers. Regulators came under fire for failing to catch the issue earlier. In total, the recalls cost millions of dollars, but the bigger cost was consumer trust. Governments scrambled to contain the damage. The UK Food Standards Agency ordered emergency screening of imported spices. The European Union introduced new border controls and mandatory testing for food colors. Exporting countries like India and China, where much of the chili supply originated, faced strict bans that hurt their trade for years. The bigger picture, the Sudan Red Scandal was more than just a case of a banned dye. It revealed a deeper weakness in global food supply chains. All it took was one unscrupulous supplier cutting corners to spark a worldwide crisis. The incident forced regulators and manufacturers 
to rethink how they monitored imported ingredients. But it also raised bigger questions. How many other hidden contaminants could be slipping through undetected? Sudan Red was just one of several cases that exposed the fragility of the system. Not long after, other scandals emerged. Melamine in milk powder, horse meat in beef products, counterfeit food colorings in sweets. Sudan Red had set the stage for the public to question what was really in their food. Lessons learned. In the years since, testing methods have improved and border controls are far stricter, yet the risk hasn't vanished. The global demand for cheap food ingredients still creates pressure, and where there is pressure, there will always be shortcuts. Sudan Red is a reminder of how fragile consumer trust can be and how quickly it can collapse when safety is compromised. The morale of the story is simple. One illegal shortcut, one small decision to cheat the system can ripple out into an international disaster. And the scary part is that experts warn similar risks may still be lurking in our food supply chains today. The Sudan red contamination was more than just a scandal about a banned dye. It was a wake-up call for governments, factories, and consumers worldwide. It showed us that even the food we think we know and trust can hide dangerous secrets. If you found this story eye-opening, don't forget to subscribe to Manufact and turn on notifications so you never miss our deep dives into the hidden dangers, disasters, and billion-dollar mistakes that shape the products you rely on every day.